Hello, welcome for joining me. My name is Johan Steep and I work at the Dutch Ministry of Infrastructure and Water Management. I'm going to talk to you about our project, the Digital Twin of the North Sea. We've built this project together with eight different partners from universities, companies and research institutes. So we have found out in our discussions with stakeholders that digital twins can help in understanding and making the right choices, but the data and the models have to be trustworthy. And at the same time, you have to be open to debate because it really depends on the kind of maps or models that you use, what will be the outcome. In this case, farmers protested against the results from the models that were done by the Dutch Institute for Environment, which is milieu in Dutch, but they played around with the word and they changed the word milieu into the Institute for Manipulation. So the DigiTwin architecture, we have three user interfaces. The first one is the browser, which gives you instantaneous access to what you are discussing about and you can run the models and see the outcome immediately. Or we have the game version, which is a more sophisticated, you have more possibilities. You can play together with different groups of stakeholders and debate the, the, the decisions you want to make. And also you have to take into account the time dimension. And finally, there's the virtual reality environment, which allows you to really immerse yourself into the situation and for instance, see what the situation will be like for a captain on the bridge of a ship. And this all runs on the maps on the central or not, or any geo server that you like. And the calculations are being done in the cloud by the Google Cloud Computing using API. Okay, the browser version. In this case, I have opened the browser version. You can go there by yourself and, and just now if you like and go to digitwin.myers.nl and you can show the maps and you can play with the models. But first I'll go into the maps. In this case, I've opened the map of the fishing and it's emphasized and by playing around with the opacity sliders, you can have different visions of what is there. So now there's only the wind farms. And now you see the Natura 2000 areas. And now again, the fishing area is emphasized. That's about the maps. But now I'm going to talk a little bit about the models. In this case, the levelized cost of energy model for wind farms. And I'm now not using the browser version, but the game version again. And you can see that uh, on the bottom, I have uh, drawn a, a wind farm of a capacity of 1.8 gigawatts. The calculations are being done in the cloud. And the outcome is that uh, there is an, an area of 180 square kilometers and the levelized cost of energy is be, will be around 2.7 cents per kilowatt hour. And this is another model that calculates fish displacement. And this is a model we are still working on. This is the, the, the model of the, the Institute Marin, the well-known Samsung model which calculates the collision risks between ships, or in this case, between ships and wind turbines. And we want to have it live in a few months from now. And here we have the VR augmented reality possibility. And in this case, a lady has just built a wind farm at the Dogger Bank. There it is. And if she looks up, she sees the wind farm, the wind turbines that she's just built. And here there's an artistic impression of a possible wind island. So the conclusions are that maps can be added easily. You can do that anytime. Models can be added, but it takes a little bit more energy. And we have found out that the virtual reality and Augmented reality uh, possibilities are really important for some of the stakeholders. So our plans and ambitions are to engage even more stakeholders and policymakers so that we can work together with them and decide which maps or which models are important. And we also want to start cooperation with more di international digital twin partners. 
So I liked, I hope you liked it. I thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, please feel free.